Hi, it's video tutorial number 25, fun with LCD and picture control. Um, let's open up a new window here and expand it to full size. Um, I thought as we kind of finish up our tutorials with Max, I'd show you just some things that are fun and that you don't get to use for specific purposes, but are fun nonetheless. And um, today I thought we'd have a little bit of fun with picture control. So type the letter N and uh, start typing picked and you'll see the picture control comes right up there. That's the one we want. Great. And look, it's a little tiny thing. Let's make it a little bigger just so we can see it when we zoom out. Okay. So there it is. Um, rather than waste time sending it messages, I'm going to do what I often do which is hit option, click, get the help file, unlock the patcher, and grab this guy here. Okay, copy him. But before you uh, run away from this part, make sure you copied it and then put it back in um, patching mode there, or uh, locked mode. Um, I want. Let's go up and look at the picture formats real quick here. Um, these are what the pictures look like that the um, picture control needs to use and we'll return to these let's pay specific attention to this one for toggles because that's what I'm going to show you today um, this one here so what you end up with is a picture that has 12 distinct places on it and what you'll end up with is six pictures up here and then six masks for those pictures here. And we'll come back to this. Um, it's just to give you an idea of um, the picture format when we get to it, because it'll look very strange. Okay, so um, let's close this file and click on this and go over here to the inspector and scroll down and take a look at oh no no wait let's get rid of this one and paste in the thing that we just copied there it is and uh, we'll let's move the whole thing over here so we can have it close to the inspector okay there we go now click on that this is the picture control right here okay and then we'll zoom over here to the inspector I see I can't zoom uh, over there okay and we see that it's called the green LED picture I took the liberty of going and finding the green LED picture in the finder so let's just take a look at what it looks like there it is so that's what their picture file looks like. Obviously this is um, uh, just sitting there off. This is probably clicked on and then this is that when your mouse is on it you push on it and you get this image. Then when you let it go you get this image. This is when you've pushed on it and it's off and this is when it's just resting off and these are for when it's inactive. Now you may notice there's only six pictures here that's because this picture does not need a mask because it's rectangular. But we are going to have more fun than that, so we'll need masks. Um, I will show you the picture that I went out and got, and here it is in Photoshop. It's a bunch of eyeballs that I drew eye openings around somewhat vaguely and then just colored in the back with a sort of grayish beige color. Then down here you can see that I made six circles. These are my masks. Wherever the black is it will um, print if you will and wherever the white is it'll be completely transparent. Okay, So this is actually the file that we are going to open in our picture slider. Isn't that exciting? I just found it on the internet and the eyeballs all came together but more of that another time. So here we are 
and um, let's look at how this guy works here. Um, when I click on it with my mouse, oh, sorry, I'm not zoomed in. When I click on it with my mouse, it gets dark. I let it up, and it's bright. The the metal part of it and the light turns on. I click on it with my mouse again, it gets dark, the light's still on, and it doesn't, uh, the metal doesn't get bright until I let off of it. And then you can see it's also outputting a zero. So this toggle actually works the same as, um, as this toggle, strangely enough, or not strangely at all, right? Um, they, here we'll just uh, demonstrate the same thing. There we go. So let's look. Lock the patcher, click on it, it puts out a one and you let off, click on it, puts out a zero and you let off. This one, click on it and it doesn't put out a one until you let up. Click on it and it doesn't put out a zero until you let up. So this is a mouse up toggle and this is a mouse down toggle. I'm pretty sure that's adjustable. These messages that we copied with it are to do the same thing. If you send a toggle a zero, as you might know, it turns it off. This turns it on, this turns it off. And then you can set. Set means that you put it into a certain mode, but you don't make any output. So here's setting it off while well, it's already off. And here's setting it on, but you notice it didn't put in a, any output. Is that useful? I'm not sure. And now, you can make it active or inactive. So we're going to make it inactive by clicking a zero. And remember the blurry picture? And now I can't click on it and make it do anything. If I click a one on it, and there it goes. Output, 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 output. Okay? So let's unlock our patchers, get this thing and go find our file, which I believe I saved as, uh, there we go. Yes, that's it. I'm going to make this bigger so you can see it again. There's our picture file with the masks. So we have to do some slightly different things to get this to work, but it'll all be worth it. Um, we can get rid of this. and move all these up here. Why? Move this way down. Actually, we don't. Well, uh, okay. And let's make this a little bigger so we can see it. Okay. Click on this and then over here in the inspector um, we want to check a bunch of things. We want to make sure that it is on toggle that the button live tracking is on. We don't want it to ignore a click, though that will happen if you hit the active button. And then um, track horizontal. Oh, this is all for the dial. That doesn't pertain to us. Uh, I got to zoom out to get the rest of this. And then <clears throat> down here is the important stuff. Here we go. Image mask. Ours has an image mask, theirs didn't. So we put that in there and come on down here, problem, blah, blah, blah. I think that's everything that we need. Let's go back out here and look at our. Come on, you. Sometimes you have to resize them to get them to work. So I just. Um, there we go. See? Resize it and it is working. Uh, and let's see how it works. I just locked the patcher in case you're wondering. So I'm going to push down. There's the click, letting up. That's the active on. Oh no, that's off. See, it's a zero. Let's see. Click and let up. That's the one. So right now it's on, and right now it's off, which is green. We can figure those things out, of course, by doing this too. There's off, there's on, off, on with no output, and let's see our inactive, oh, it's sleepy, and active will be whatever it's set to. Now, um, if we make this inactive, 
it looks a little bit different. That's a kind of squinchy brown eye. Uh, it's still inactive. I turned it. I tried to turn it on, but it's still inactive. So the inactive ones are the sleepy eyes. Nice. Well, <clears throat> that all seems very interesting, you might say. Um, what the heck can you do with it? Well, hmm. let's type a new object here and type uh, ses, S for send and just C, T, R, L. And then I'll just copy it and make an R out of it for the receive unit. And the reason I'm doing this is because I hate always having to redo all these wires, all these uh, patch cords. And then we can just click one to here. But the really nice thing is that then we can also just duplicate it. So now, how's it work? Oh, nice. Active. Hey, what's going on up there? Active. All right. So what could you do with this? I guess um, you could do a lot of things. Um, and. I am going to put this off to the side and continue with those things in the next video just so that I don't go on too long. But, uh, woohoo! We'll see you soon, right in the next, uh, in the next video.